the mortal realm, Zimza been summoned. I do wish that prince had devised a system to give me some forewarning. But who am I to question the eyes of Gosia? Oh, apologies. I was just musing to myself. <laughs> I suppose who am I is your question as well. <laughs> I am Valen. And who are you, mortal? I see. It's a pleasure to meet you, dear. <laughs> Is this your first time summoning a demon of my class? Not bad for your first time, though I do have some pointers I can give you for future occasions. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Both you and I know I'm here. Shall we get started now? Be a good girl, and remove your clothes for me. What's with the surprise face? I assume you didn't summon me here just to stare at me all night, correct? What? You don't want to do those things? Hmm. That's an interesting proposition. Just cuddling and watching movies. Like those moving pictures in the magic box. Hmm. I know you humans are quite fond of the magic box. Never thought I'd be invited to participate in this entertainment ritual of yours, though. Why? Well, the specifics of my summoning state that I shall return was the desire of the summoners fulfilled. There's not really time to immerse myself in mortal culture. I am a busy demon. Did you know that Incubi and Succubi are summoned at a rate of a thousand per minute? It gets worse during February. And on the feast of St. Valentine, no less. I barely have time for myself this month. Don't take it the wrong way. I've still got plenty of time to be your Valentine. Oh, I look exhausted. Hmm. You're the first to ever say that. I do admit I might be a little tired, but it's nothing to concern yourself with, I assure you. I'm a professional, dedicated entirely to your pleasure. Now, shall we get truly started? <sighs> fine, fine. I won't do anything you don't want me to. So, how does this work? Do I just sit here, stare at the moving pictures? All right, all right. I'll lay down, but you need to join me immediately. I'm warming up the bed covers for you. Don't waste my time now. Don't you see how delicious I look? Snacks. Oh, so you're getting sustenance now. You mortals have the weirdest habits. I mean, I don't understand why you get a snack when I'm right here, but all right. <laughs> I won't critique your odd behavior anymore. Go get these so-called snacks then. I'll wait for you. But make it quick, darling. I'm getting awfully cold without your warmth next to me. Should I lay here like this, or like this, maybe? <sighs> I'm not familiar with the situation. Just like this human only wants my presence here. Nothing more. It's the first time I've encountered someone like her. 
I might be at a loss for the first time in my 2,400 years of existence. Oh, you're back. <clears throat> Good to see you again, darling. I was starting to miss that adorable face of yours. Hmm? You got something for me. Popcorn, is it? I've heard of it, but never tasted it myself. Quite the funny-looking snack you got there. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. Salty, though. Just like... <laughs> Why are you blushing? I was teasing. It's quite enjoyable. I can see why you like it so much. Thank you for sharing it with me. <laughs> All right, come here. Let me wrap my arms around you. I'm determined to make this the best cuddling session you've ever had. Just like that. Lay your head on my shoulder. Are you comfortable now? <laughs> Good. See? I told you I was pretty warm. I couldn't get even warmer, though. Ah. <sighs> Is this what you humans call Netflix and chill, but with actual chilling? Hmm. Interesting. I've lived in hell all my life, though I've never felt this chill. <laughs> I must admit, it's the first time I've held someone like this. With clothes on, at least. It's different. Definitely not something I'm used to. No, no. It's not boring at all, actually. This movie is quite entertaining, and I enjoy the way your body is melting into mine. Your laugh, the smell of your hair. Plenty of things for me to indulge in, even if we don't get physical in that sense. Hmm. Never would have thought I would be able to get my fill with just this. It's like just being near you is more than enough. Interesting how that works. Almost as if I could get addicted to this feeling. <laughs> oh, are you embarrassed? I'm just being honest, darling. It's not every day I come across a soul like yours. <laughs> what can I say? I'm fascinated. We haven't done anything in particular, but I feel like I could stay here, holding you like this forever. Oh, I sense your heart rate picking up. Seems like you enjoy the idea, too. Well, the choice is yours, darling. I'll come every time you call me. Even if all you want is for me to hold you, I'll do it. I believe someone like you deserves that. And even more. Hmm? That sound. Ah. Uh -huh. We incubi operate on a timer, you see. If there's no action, so to speak, we're supposed to go to the next mortal in the queue. But I don't feel like it. <laughs> uh, don't look so worried. I've been doing this for thousands of years. Skipping the queue won't get me in trouble. I'd rather stay here with you and watch more of these moving pictures of yours. <laughs> I guess I'm hooked, as you humans would say. <laughs> I could do this every day, yeah. But I'm thinking that I'd only do it if it's with you.